so welcome to my video, which will teach you how, which will show you how I'm going to carry out my online lessons. The this is actually all here is actually the questions that has been sent to me by my students, and so yeah, I will start as an example. Now, in the first question, it says that a car accelerates at a rate of zero and that's minus so from initial speed. Okay, before everything, I first set some background rules. I mean, background information where so in solving the kinematics, so see all these kinematics question. First thing you can think of is you can either use the equation method. Or you can use the graph method. So first thing I will use the graph method actually. Yes, uh, I mean I will use the equation method. Usually the equation method is much easier. So then equation method V stands for final velocity. Then U stands for the inertia initial velocity. And S stands for displacement or the distance. So what's the difference? One has direction, one doesn't. And the, then you have the time, which is in terms of T. And then you have acceleration, which when you use the equation method, acceleration has to be constant for, to use the equation method. Or else it will work. Okay, or else. The answer will be accurate because the assumption is that acceleration is constant. Okay. So, for this question, you can see very well that oh, okay, uh, there are at least three known variables, known variables, and one unknown. And so, we have the A, we have U, we have Q. So now it's asking for V. So we use V first thing. I remember it as V minus U over T equals to A. So for here you can see that actually, yeah, you just have to make the V the subject, it will be V equals to A T plus U, and you the answer will be. And then minus two. Okay, so it's actually very easy. And also, don't forget your SI units. Make sure, make sure that everything is in SI units. Where your mean is like your KN. If you see KN, you must combine it to meters. So minutes or hour, you must combine it to seconds. These are all your SI. Or if you see velocity as someone is a liter. Per minute, oh. you must convert it into meters per second. First. And how will you do that? Okay, I'll explain over here. I mean, this is how I carry out my equation. Usually, I just go into the flow. So, if I feel there's something that I have to know, I will immediately go on to the next one. Yes, I focus a lot on connection. So let's say you have eight meter. Uh, okay, let's give you more detail. Eight km per minute. How do you convert it into meter per second or as an unit? So first, we can do is eight km. Usually, I write out like this per minute times. I'll make sure I have a km under here. So that they can cancel out here, they can cancel out, cancel out again. And then meter. So this is my so called my standard. I will times my standard. So 1 km, if you use my pen, 1 km stands for 1000 meters. Okay, so now when I times in, then I'll get my the meter is settled. So what about my second okay. I'll times it another standard because so where should I make sure that my units are not will be 
second is male and mainly is number. So that when I cancel out, I can start this. Then mainly divided by mainly equals mainly a bit equals to nothing. <laughs> equals one. So again, I will write down my standard equals uh, one minute stands for sixteen seconds. So I have my time canada standard. Okay. So in the end, what am I left with? Eight thousand meter per oh, sixty. Okay. Then I use calculator and realize that. That's your answer. Okay, so what have you learned so far today? Firstly, you learned to solve equations using the equation method. Secondly, you learned the importance of S I units. You must call everything to make sure everything is done with S I unit, and I also taught you how to convert. So now, lastly, I'll go on to the graph method. How do I use the graph method to solve this question? Firstly, I'll draw a velocity time graph. Why velocity time? Uh, because that's the information that we are given. So it says initial speed is D. Okay. It accelerates at a constant rate of zero, meaning the velocity doesn't change, right? The acceleration is constant. The, I mean, it's zero. There is no acceleration, no change in velocity. It means that your velocity is constant at one point. So if it is two at first, then of course, at the end of 10 seconds, it's also two. So that's why your answer will be two ms at the slope. That's your final answer. So again, equation method done. The graph method also done. The importance of SI unit and how to convert. Okay. So I hope that everything is clear about this kinematics question. So we'll go through the next few questions in the next video. Hope you like it. Bye.